I want to give you an end of April update from Union Rescue Mission. I just returned from Philadelphia where I met with 50 mission leaders from around the world and it's so good to be back home. We ended March with our Hearts for Hope event that raised more money than we ever had and it was a great event. We raised nearly $400,000 which is instrumental in providing the resources for the work here, the life-saving life-changing work. As you know, it's been Easter season. We've celebrated in a big way. We had our annual Easter outreach in the back parking lot here at Union Rescue Mission, a beautiful day of reaching out to the folks who are on the street. And what really impressed me was all the young people that came out from a church. They were ages 11 to 14, young men in a rites of passage program. And these guys really worked hard and they served joyfully. It was a wonderful picture of Christ's love for the precious people who live on the streets. I was honored to go out to Hope Gardens and join in and, and be part of the program. Little ones singing, young ladies dancing to praise music. Just wonderful to see the devotion that our young people at Hope Gardens have for Jesus Christ. And then we returned to, to the rooftop of Union Rescue Mission on Easter morning and I was honored with preaching at the sunrise service. And I, I asked everybody there to provide the evidence of a living Christ when I said, if your life has been transformed by Jesus Christ, please stand. And it was incredible as nearly everybody on the rooftop stood and proclaimed that Jesus Christ had transformed their life. We uh, could not have this environment of, of life change. Uh, without your support. And I really want to ask you to give more than ever. Right now we're facing a huge food crisis. As you know we have a water shortage, we have uh, food prices are soaring through the roof. We are having to buy nearly all of our food. In the past it's been much of it has been donated but with the water shortage, the food shortage, we're having to buy nearly all of our food to feed 2,000 meals per day and I need to ask you to stretch a little bit and help us do this uh, important work. We cannot serve uh, this many precious guests without your support. I just want to thank you for all that you do to make this work possible. God bless you.